The icon of our mother of perpetual help makes a very bold statement as one looks into the image. It announces a prophetic message as well as being a source of devotion to the mother of God. The two angels frame the icon drawing our eyes to center in on the images of the mother and child. Angels in scripture are messengers of God either to the prophets or to the people of Israel. So, in this icon, on each side of the Virgin Mary, we have an angel. The angels are inviting us into a special space to receive a message. They reveal to us that this icon is a prophetic proclamation. The angels are holding instruments of the passion and death of Jesus. The angel on the right, as you face the icon, holds the cross and nails, and the angel on the left holds the spear, sponge, and the container of vinegar and gall. They call our attention to the events that surrounded the passion of Jesus. However, see how they hold the instruments with veiled hands, a sign of the new life they represent of the resurrection. We know the importance of angels in the events of our salvation. The angel announced to Mary that she was to be the mother of Jesus. Angels informed St. Joseph of his mission regarding Mary and Jesus. Angels announced to the shepherds the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. An angel wakes St. Joseph and tells him to flee into Egypt. Angels announced the resurrection and are present at the ascension. The angels of our mother of perpetual help announced to us the events of our redemption. These two angels with the items they hold in their veiled hands identify the icon of our mother of perpetual help as a version of the passion which she is sometimes called. The look and the position of the angels are important statements of what is going on in the icon of our mother of perpetual help. When praying and reading an icon, look at the faces and hands of the images, for they often tell you what action or statements the icon is reflecting. The angels reflect the prophet Isaiah. Yet it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. While we thought of him as stricken, as one smitten by God and afflicted, but he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the chastisement that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. As we face our mother perpetual help, the angel on the right is Gabriel. In tradition, Gabriel is considered Mary's angel. So we notice that the virgin's head is slightly inclined towards the angel and the angel responds in the same manner. Gabriel's eyes are at the same level with the eyes of Mary, reminding us of Mary's acceptance of God's invitation to be the mother of Jesus at the Annunciation. We also notice the face of the child of God as he is looking toward the cross. We have an important moment in this scene. If we would take a ruler and lay it from the tip of the virgin's middle hand, we could draw a line directly through the middle of the child's heart, up to the cross Gabriel is holding. We also notice that the look on the child's face is not one of panic or fear, but rather it is a look of pondering. He imitates the look of his mother. He ponders the vision of the angel. This is a very important message to us. We are to imitate Mary and Jesus in their contemplative prayer. We should often reflect on the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. The angel on the left, as we face the icon, is Michael. We know that this is Michael because of two markings on his sleeve, the stripes which identifies him as an angel of high rank as a leader in the forces of angels. 
It is like the stripes that military personnel have on their sleeves to show their rank. There is another identifying symbol that tells us this is Michael. It is the spear that he is holding. Michael is often pictured with a lance thrusting through the image of Satan. Michael seems to be behind the vision of the Virgin looking towards her and the child, which is symbolic of the church's honoring of him as the protector and guardian of the church. So he is in a position of standing guard over Jesus and Mary and us as we pray before the image. The instruments of the Passion in the hands of the angels combined with the Mother of God related to the figure of Jesus Christ are a clear expression of the mystery of the Incarnation, Passion, Death, and Resurrection of Christ. They do not appear only as a sign of Christ's execution at Calvary, but as the promise of new life we are offered in the Resurrection. We are in relationship with the mysteries of the Incarnation, Passion, and Resurrection when we allow ourselves to gaze in prayer upon the action that is happening between the four figures in this icon. Our Mother of Perpetual Help is much more than just a nice holy picture of Jesus and Mary. The icon is a powerful book filled with divine grace for us who read and pray it. May you come to experience the divine energy that is contained in this powerful icon we call our Mother of Perpetual Help. May Mary, with her holy child, bless you and keep you always. <laughs>